Hello, Mr. Atrophy here. Got really slapped in the face recently with how stupid people are. And the, the slap in the face was Facebook. How many gullible people were repeating that you're going to have to pay for Facebook, even though time after time after time, when the story hits, like every six months, they say, no, you, Facebook is always going to be free. And I was thinking, that, that can't just be stupidity, because some very smart people were reposting it. So what, what, what would cause that? And I thought back to my childhood, back to Catholic school, where I was taught to listen to the preacher, to read the Bible, not question it, to believe it, and to tell other people about how true the Bible is. And I was thinking that that's the same thing. The people have this mechanism where they're afraid of losing the free Facebook. So anything that helps quell that fear is automatically grabbed onto and latched onto. And that's a mechanism that is really, really popular in the Judeo-Christian religion, I believe. That the fear of hell extends pretty far. I even know some atheists that are still afraid of hell. And because you're so afraid of hell you latch on to what the preachers are saying. No matter how ignorant, no matter how asinine, no matter how contradictory, no matter how many times it's been disproven, people still latch on to it. And I've seen people, I've seen groups do this, say that if science proves the Bible wrong, then don't believe science. Just have faith. And that's really damaging. That will basically stop scientific advancement and drive us into another dark ages. And that's horrible. That leads me to think that there's two types of people. Believers and skeptics. Okay, three, because there's some people that are both. Believers will latch onto anything that supports their idea, no matter what it is. Skeptics are continually questioning everything. And I am very much the later. But now, a, a, a decent person will have a little of both. If you're so skeptical that you start uh, refusing information, it becomes self-defeating. And what I mean by that is if you continually question everything to a point where nothing will ever satisfy you as an answer. Whereas the believer it can be dangerous for the opposite. You will instantly accept anything as an answer. So I think you need a, a middle way for that. You need to be skeptical, but at some point you have to believe what you see. It saddens me to see that the majority of the American public is fooled so easily. 
that just by simply stating something, a good majority of the people will just take it as fact and between religion and politics I really don't see that as a quality that's going to be going away because to be in both I believe you have to be able to be ignorant of some things and too willing to believe others so I am I'm going to cut this off and I will wish you all a good night.